with this. <clears throat> Body cam, Oklahoma teacher allegedly shows up drunk on first day of elementary school. I mean, hell, if I was an elementary teacher. All right, no, I'm not gonna come on in here and have a seat a second. Okay. I'm gonna visit. All right. So, um, just observing you in the classroom, it looks like something's off a little bit. And so I've asked uh, Officer Dean to come in here and visit with it. Have oh, God. You, you know, um, have you taken anything that's, you know, do you have a prescription? Dude, this is so, I, I just feel anxiety from this situation right now. For anything that maybe you have taken today that just seems like you're not the same person that I talked to this morning. Um, I did take a, I, I did take some medication last night to to help me with sleep because I have some anxiety stuff. But that's that's I can't think of the name of it right now. But I could look it up when I get home. Okay. So you haven't taken anything while you were at school? No. Okay. Oh God. Um, now, one thing I would tell you is, um, you know, um, for your employment, I want you to, you to be truthful. Uh, okay. And so, um, would you um, be willing to take a breathalyzer test? If I needed to, yeah. Okay. You don't have to, but if you're willing to do it, that. Oh, God. Dude, this is awful. Like, the thing is, why get, like, like drunk drunk? You know? Like I, I would, I would honestly completely understand if you just got a little tipsy, like you're, you're dealing with kids all day, you know, but it, is she like full on plastered going to teach a bunch of kids? Helps us. Never consent to a breathalyzer. <clears throat> Have you taken any sort of medication today? I'm sorry, what? Have you taken any medication today? I did take some medication this morning for my anxiety. What did you take this morning? Um, I think it's called, um, uh, it's called, uh, a Shmirinov. It's called, uh, 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 what's it called? J Jack, Uncle Jack, Uncle Jack Daniels, um, wine. Yeah, um, Quasipin, 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 Dude, like, you, yeah, just, right you can see it in her face. She's even more... Like, her eyes are, like, half closed. Maybe she's high. <clears throat> right. Came in. Yes. Okay. Is that a prescription? Because you changed your story a little bit. Now yeah, you said, said it was took, last night. Yeah. Well, I took one last night, and then I took one this morning. Dude, oh, I, hate this, I hate this, man. I hate this. Yeah, that so drunk, glazed that look. This morning? Whenever you took it last, when, when, what time was that? Um, I'm not really for sure. Just do the breath breathalyzer, Where's man. Just get it over with. Classroom? No, I had one. In, I took it in my. I put it in my pocket, and then I took it. You put it in your pocket? Yeah, yeah. Because I didn't want to bring the whole bottle in. Do you do know that if it's a narcotic, you have to have it in the bottle, right? Or you can be charged with it. I did not know that. <laughs> yeah, it's got to be in the prescription bottle. Don't laugh. That's not something to laugh about. So just, I want you to understand that I care very much about you. Okay. And I just, I need to make sure you're okay. I need to make sure that you're safe and I've got to make sure that the kids are safe. So we're just trying to help you and make sure everything's okay. Okay. Cause this is. Dude, honestly, in today's age, why even get that haircut? Like, you should be aware by now, right? That what that haircut is tied to. It, it still blows my mind that people still get that haircut. You know what's hilarious? My son, uh, this year, he loves his teacher. Like, it's, it's his favorite teacher ever. He talks about how much he, he loves her and she's the best. Last year, though, guess what? It was a teacher that had this type of haircut and she was a bitch. Like she was a bitch. I could just tell by the way she looked and how she acted. Like she puts on that smile, but it's like really stern and, and, and angry with the kids. 
You know, you, you all know that type. You've all seen that teacher. And I could tell right away that was that type of teacher. I felt bad for him. The amount, dude, my son, I remember he, he like got hurt at school or something like that. And he was blamed. He was like telling her, oh, this kid pushed me. And, and I think she, she was saying something like, don't be a tattletale. Yeah, a bitch. My son just got shoved by this kid. And you're saying, don't be a tattletale. Sorry. Um, Go on a tangent. What is happening? Distraction, run! Get out! I mean, I am having, I, I am having a hard time. Was it, was it the national the alert thing? Stuff. And I, I, um, did you drink something while you were here at school? Not while I was at school. When did you drink something? Last night. Okay. But I thought you were normal this morning. Because it seemed that it changed, I mean, your demeanor kind of changed. Is she going to cry? Dude, she's drunk and about to get caught as a teacher. Of course she's going to cry. <laughs> I mean, first of all, being drunk brings out your emotions like crazy. But second of all, like, dude, like you're about to get caught as a teacher. Dude, what is on my mouse? Okay. Oh, I, I wouldn't bring it into the school. Okay. Are you going to blow double zeros? I don't know. You should know. If you hadn't drank anything, you should blow zeros. If you drank something recently, you're, it's going to show it. I like her tea, though, yeah. Well, let's find out. You should know. Makes me think that you are not. She's going to blow like a like a five, something okay, insane. So what's gonna happen if, if I'm I, not going to do anything with you. Well, I'm, okay. I'm asking Mrs. Bowles. Well, I'm just going to be honest, Kimberly. I'm concerned about you. I have a responsibility to take care of the kids. Right. And it's not going to be my decision. It's my decision. So let's see what happens. All right. Oh, All right, no. So you're you're going to blow into it like a blown up a Dude, he's 100% going to fire her. You, do you see that face? It's my decision. Like He, 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 he ain't pulling the punches, man. He's going to get her fired. Right, and you're going to keep blowing until I tell you to stop. Until I tell you to stay. Until I tell you to stop. <clears> All right. All right, give it a second. I, I don't know how to do this. Oh, we can't see his face? Oh, shit. Like my bad. As soon as I tell you to. Right, ready? Take a big deep breath. Blah, 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 blah. All right. Stop. Good job. What is it? Let's see. You want to tell me the truth? How much you had to drink? I, I drank last night. There's no way you can. Holy shit, dude. A 2.48. Damn. What were you drinking? You just, just pound an eighth over there? Dude, you know what it is? Dude, this is the problem with America. <clears throat> is those little portable shots. That was the worst thing that could have happened in our entire world. Those little shots of, yeah, fireball, you could buy just like a 12 pack and just bop, 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 you're plastered. Like, that that's the, wor that's the worst thing America has done. Actually, no, let me rephrase that. that. That is one of the bad things that America has done recently. And it is stupid, man. <clears throat> oh my God, I remember. Because, I mean, this shit's been around for a while, the little little shots, but I feel like they're more popular now. When I was uh, younger, like, probably like, like 19, maybe? I, <laughs> I think I told you guys this story before. I don't know. But anyway, my friend uh, took me to uh, his friend's house. I mean, we were all friends, but they were having a party and they had this giant bucket full of just those little shots 
those little package shots, just full of it. And I and um, my friend, <clears throat> you know, he he took one, and then he took another, and then he took another, and I don't know how many he took. But long story short, he came back so fucking drunk. Like I'm I'm talking five to ten minutes. He was gone. He came back. He couldn't even speak. Like he was plastered. It was crazy how fast he got drunk. <clears throat> yeah, I'm not joking. It was like 10 minutes. And you want to know the worst part about it? We had to go home and he had a slapstick car. It was like a Nissan uh, 240Z. Um, it was like a car he was working on, but it was a slapstick. And I didn't really know how to drive slapstick. So he had to teach me while we were driving back home and it took like a 25 minute drive to get home. So while he was drunk, he was teaching me how to drive, which to be fair, it, it was fine because I already knew how to drive, you know, like, like there's like dirt bikes, four wheelers, the, the, the clutch concept wasn't that foreign to me. So I understood the clutch and I understood gear shifting and that stuff. So it wasn't that hard. But he was drunk and he didn't make any sense. I had to figure it all out myself. It was scary. <laughs> I didn't even stall the car, surprisingly, but it was, it was an experience. That's fine. Well, I did drink <coughs> last night. Did you drink at school is what he's asking you. Tell us the truth. I, I didn't drink at school. That wouldn't blow that right there. He blew two times the legal limit. I did? Yeah. Here's our drink that you have. What's in this drink? That's a Diet Coke. Is there anything like liquor in it? Nope. Sniff so it. if I go into the classroom, am I going to find anything else? Did you go to your vehicle and drink if we go out and search your car? No. So where did the liquor come from? Did you leave campus? Not today. Have you... This thing is pretty accurate. No, I know it is. So I, know, I know it is. You blew like a point two four. I don't know what that means. What's Legal it? limits point zero eight. <coughs> okay. Do you drink often? Yeah, just sniff the cup, Unfortunately, man. Unfortunately, yes. Yes. Okay. Yeah. I'm not trying to insult you. I'm just trying to understand no, no, why. No, I, I, I'm seeing the counselor. I'm seeing the counselor about it. So. So it's all good. You it's have all good. anything to drink today? Not since, well, so 3 a.m. Your expert opinion, she's under the influence? No. Well, I mean. This is so awkward, man. You want my honest opinion? Mm -hmm. I think she's probably a functioning alcoholic. Would she blow that? So you could and be normal and like be and not drink today. Well, no, no, because she's had to have drank sometime today. Like even if it was three a.m. <clears throat> I kind of feel bad. Well, <clears throat> the thing is, I don't know. I feel like there's way too much of a stigma and not enough empathy when it comes to alcoholism and uh, alcoholics. And, you know, people who do shit like this. Um, you know what I mean? Because I feel like they're being way too finger pointy and you're awful. You're doing something bad. Like, her friend walked out crying. Like, what? You, you're you're going you're gonna to walk out and cry? What has she done? Killed someone? Bro, she just took a few shots at school. She got to deal with elementary children all day. What is she gonna? What is she? What is she gonna do while she's drunk, teaching? That's my question. What's up? But what I was saying is like, she's not gonna murder a child. The worst thing that's gonna happen is she's not gonna be able to teach her lesson well. That's it. Should she get uh, suspended? Yeah. Uh, should she get fired? I don't. I don't know. That that's up in the air. It's kind of tough to say. I feel like she should get suspended, get some help, 
and get one more chance. I don't feel like she should get fired, especially if she's a good teacher. Because for like, it honestly pisses me off that that lady walked out crying. Like she, she did something so atrocious and so terrible. And same with him. Look at how angry he is. And you know this dude be pounding it on the weekends, man. I'm talking about alcohol. I'm not talking about, you know. But still, like, even the cop, I don't know. I feel like the cop was pretty chill about it. Not going to lie. He's like, well, I mean, she's a functioning alcoholic. You know, she can function normally, but also be drunk. Princess Lemon Drop, thank you so much for the five. I have not set up those hype chat alerts yet. I'm sorry. I completely forgot about that. Thank you so much. Tooth Fairy coming in clutch. You know what? I'm going to use that. Uh, I'm going to use that. It's the real Tooth Fairy. Um, But yeah, like, there's no empathy. There's nothing going on here. It's just pure pointing fingers. You're wrong. You're bad. I don't know. Maybe it'll get One better. One more time on no, a different straw to. to see if it changes. No. Okay. I want y'all to tell me what I have to do. I just want you to be honest. Yeah. I'm seeing a counselor for my stuff. So, so I, do you live here in town? I live in uh, I live in Stillwater. Hold up. Are you like the superintendent, and you don't even know like her address or who she is or where she lives, huh? Do you have anybody that's there that could come pick you up? Um, um my husband's still he's still at school working. Uh, can I check your eyes? Do what? Can I check your eyes? Yeah. Can I stand up? Mm -hmm. I'm not going to go through the entire test. But. Now she's a new horror as well. The fact that her rock bottom was filmed and put online. Yeah, I know. Like this, the reason I kept talking about how much anxiety I felt, I felt like I'm eavesdropping on something so personal. Like, I feel so uncomfortable here. Like, this is something I feel like I shouldn't be witnessing. You know what I mean? It feels wrong. Stand with your feet by your side. Hands down to your feet. What if she's a great teacher? Feel the hill, there you go. All right. <clears throat> the tip of my pants. Yeah, it looks like a custom shirt. Mm-hmm. Uh -huh. Yep. You've drank recently. Uh, your eye drops? I don't know where they are. It feels wrong now, but it gets worse? Oh shit, those are really... Um, how's he? Um, do you know your husband's number? If I call him? I, I don't want you to call him. Well, I can't let you leave. If you leave, you're going to get arrested. Yeah, I'm going to arrest you for DUI. So I need somebody to come pick you up. I just... I... I know I've been having a hard time. I just... Am I going to get fired? Just I, Honestly, yes. Or you can resign. You're under the influence at school with kids. That cannot happen. I, 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 did, I want more context. How long has she been a teacher? Is she a good teacher? And I, I dude, I don't fucking know. Dude, I fuck, I, I, I just, this fucking dude, this fucking dude right here, I hate him so much. This guy sucks. Zero understanding. Do you know what he, you know what he is? He's a boss. He's a boss man. He's acting like a boss man. Zero empathy. Zero care about others. No sympathy for anyone at all. Just pure like, yep, you're done. <clears throat> Like, how can you not tell that she's struggling, man? Not just be that. It's in my blood system. 
And that's why it's... Unless you were... Drank a shit ton well, at I, like I, eight o'clock this morning. I don't think I don't know how you could still be that hot. I, I did drink a lot last night. How much did you drink? I don't too much. What What do you drink? Wine. So how wine. many How many bottles of wine did you drink? Uh, we had the box. Did you drink a whole box of wine? Half a box. And you stopped drinking at like three this morning? Presley Johnson, please come to the uh, office. Presley the problem Johnson. is, is they said you were please fine this morning. The and then now after I called it box recently, wine. I noticed. A <clears throat> See, and that's weird to me. That's, that's, uh, that, that it was okay this morning. I would think that it would be. Which makes me think that you, you've drank recently. I, I would, I would think. I, I could see like this morning, but I couldn't see. Like... This is just making me so, sad, dude. Your options are: we call somebody to pick you up. You come visit me tomorrow. Two, you get. <laughs> wine fucks me up, dude. Uh, wine gives me a what do you what do you call it? A chill, a chill drunk, like a like a warm drunk that's why i like it because it doesn't like i don't know i i would never i mean i I never get drunk but it, it like gives you a nice calm feeling you know it's not like beer dude beer fucking i dude getting drunk on beer is just nasty does anyone else agree like the amount of liquid you have to shove down your esophagus in order to get drunk is crazy like, no wonder people have beer bellies and beer guts. Like, the amount of liquid you're pouring down, you're pouring gallons of beer down you. It's crazy. I won't even let you get your vehicle. I'll just arrest you right now for public talks. Please don't do that. Then you should probably find a ride. Can I, oh. can I make that happen myself? Right now. Do I have to do it in, right here? Yes, we need to know somebody's... Yeah. We're not leaving. He's not going to leave here until somebody picks you up. So either you leave in a vehicle or you leave in my vehicle. One of the two. You want me to spoil some of this? Nah. I mean... Is there is there a spot to skip to? Where is a good spot to skip to? Because this is 35 minutes. I don't really want to get spoiled because I'm kind of curious where this goes. But I don't know if I want to watch the whole thing. I mean, I assume something happens over here. Yeah, why couldn't the officer drive her home and not arrest her? Isn't that... Why does it have to be someone else? They just want to embarrass her. Just keep going. So who are we calling? I don't know. Oh wait, he gave her the I'm, choice? I'm sorry. I'm just, I'm, I'm having a hard time. Wait, I thought he said either I arrest you for public intoxication or you find a ride. He didn't offer to give her a ride home. He offered to arrest her. So who do you go home to? Your husband? Mm -hmm. So why can't we call your husband? <clears throat> I don't want you to I don't want you to have to call him. Well, he's either going to come here. He said my car or someone picks you up. Yeah, but he means arrest her for public intoxication. That's what he said. Okay. Or he's going to take you to the police station. Well, I don't want that to happen either. Well, then you got to figure this out. We're not going to do this run around. Either what if she doesn't have a ride? He walked out of here in handcuffs. Okay, I don't want... I don't okay, want... then we need to call someone. Like, what if she doesn't have a ride? I'm not trying to be a jerk, but we can't no, run this. No, I know. 
We don't have all day for you to make a decision. No, I, I'm not. I'm not trying to be like that. I'm just. I'm just. I'm. I'm. I'm just. I'm. Okay, you got one minute. Tell me a number. We're gonna call, or we're trying to let you at least have some dignity and not walk Dude, out of here in front of everybody. Fuck this guy! Holy no, shit! I, so fuck if you'll this let guy. us call somebody, we'll wait. They can come wait outside. Everybody's gone. We'll tell them to be here at four thirty, and we'll, you'll be able to leave the building without anybody seeing. But if we're, we're we don't have time, so we'll keep doing this. No, I I, I understand. I'm I'm sorry. I, I don't mean to be. I don't mean to be like. Be like that. I'm. I'm. I'm sorry. I, I'm trying to. I'm trying. So if if we call somebody to come and get me, so then what happens after that? Then you're gonna meet me tomorrow at my office, and we'll discuss your employment. What 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 time tomorrow? Nine a.m. This guy pisses me off, dude. So so what happens? So what happens then, Mr. Ogle? Well, this seems like the same type of dude who uh, thinks weed is like the worst thing ever to exist in the world. And if you smoke weed, then you are the equivalent of a murderer. This seems like the same type of dude. My recommendation to the board is going to be to terminate you because you're under the influence. Or you can resign. You, you won't give me like a second chance no. or anything? No. Not in this situation. Your story's changed two or three times. I don't think you're personally being honest with us. Uh, what? what I'm, I'm we, we think that you drank today. Not 3 a.m. We think that you've drank since you've been at school. And I don't believe you're being honest with us. Do you want to change that story? No, I, I mean, even if I did, does that make it, does that make a difference to, to work here? I, I, I well, it helped to... me to be able to understand that maybe, you know, maybe do I need to be sympathetic with you a little bit? I just don't believe you right now. I think you're lying to us. Okay, I drank on the... So what? You, you're, you're only going to be sympathetic if she drank at school? Huh? Way to work. Okay. I, 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 I'm glad that you told us that. Okay. Um, we'll still discuss tomorrow. I, I went to work here. I... I, I, I I want to work here. Yeah. Um, so tomorrow at 9 o'clock, now let's call somebody and have them pick you up. No, I, I can't call my husband. Do you have anyone else you can call? You have a friend that can come pick you up? Dude, that makes me nervous. Why can't she call her husband? That sounds terrifying. What does that mean? Why is she afraid of that? That's the scary part. He doesn't want him to know. Well, that's what I'm saying. That's what's scary. Is that that sounds like an abusive relationship right there. Like if if you can't tell your own husband about the situation and him being understanding. Yeah, that's scary. Would you rather call your husband to come pick you up or would you rather call your husband to come get you from jail? Uh, well, actually neither. Well, I mean, you've got it. You're running out of time. Um. Okay, I, I, I'll call. I'll call somebody. Um. Uh, you don't have I'm, context I'm of the relationship from pigs, right? That's to, scary. To, she seems to, distressed. To, yeah, that's what I'm wait. saying. Your time or anything like that. I'm I'm sorry. None of this just justifies drinking at school. No one's justifying drinking at school. We're trying to have some empathy about it. Not to humiliate you by walking out. No, I don't. Out. No, please don't. Grabbing empathy please. for please. someone who has an issue. A number right now to call, or I'm done. Okay. Okay. I'm not defending her at all. I just want a little bit of empathy from these dudes. Like it's called being human, you know, like. Like, this guy's being an asshole. I mean, the cop's just being a cop. He's doing his job. Like, I can't really say much about him. But this dude's being an asshole. You know? Like, they're, they're just saying, do it now, 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 do it now. They're not asking, okay, why can't you uh, talk to your husband about it? 
Uh, is there someone else? Like, you're not talking to us. Oh, give me a number. Who am I calling? I, I don't I don't have it by heart. Where's your phone at? It, it's in the classroom. Can I go can I go get you it? You can't, no. Huh? You can't, no. I will let let me see if I can get What'd you drink this morning? I don't like anything but wine. Okay. Hey, can I call you back? Right. You're supposed to be a role model and teach the children. It's a fucking. It's a fucking elementary. You do you think? Do you think these kids know that she's drunk? No, they don't. Regardless, I'm not saying that it's a good or good thing that she got drunk at school. I'm not saying it's okay, but I'm like. She got drunk at school. You think all these kids are just going to start fucking pounding beers after school because they saw her t their teacher get drunk, even though they probably had no idea that their teacher was drunk? You know what would give them an idea that their teacher was drunk? Firing her. Instead of maybe like taking her a week or two off school, getting her help, and then maybe if she gets better, she can have another chance. Maybe. I'm not saying she should have another chance, but I'm saying the possibility should be there. You know what I'm saying? Mommy, can I have a fireball one. like Miss Wicked? <laughs> Mom, my teacher at school was drunk. Can I have some of this fireball stuff she keeps talking about? Yeah, before I left home, I didn't drink it. In <clears throat> okay, I'm going to go to your room. Where is your phone? Can I go down there with no. you? I don't even... You're going where it's at? I think it's in my... Purse, but purse is where? Can I please? Can I? Please? No, there's kids in the hall, and there's teachers all standing here. I, they don't even know you're. What do you think she's gonna do to these kids? Is she just gonna go out there and just start boxing these kids, just just like elbowing, doing the fucking people's elbow on some of these children, suplexing? What are they gonna do? She's not allowed to walk, like. <laughs> Like, <laughs> what are they so scared of, man? It might be on the desk. It's on the desk. Okay. <clears throat> Is there she wants to hide evidence? Then follow her. Then have someone follow her. <laughs> like, it's not that hard. No alcohol or anything in the room. I don't think so. I don't know. She probably, yeah, know. she probably does have alcohol in her purse. So what? Like, someone could follow her and check. Hey, Doug. How often do you go see a counselor? Mm, like, once every other week. <clears throat> Is it helping at all? No? It was, and then it wasn't. I'm not saying you're a bad person or anything. I understand people go through stuff. It's all right. I, Thank it, you. It's... Can we get a round of applause for the cop? That is the first kind thing I've seen anyone say this whole fucking time. This whole situation has just been humiliation porn. And then finally, someone has the sense to be, hey, I get it. I know you're probably not a terrible person. You're probably going through shit. Finally. Holy shit. That's all these people had to say, dude. Uh, uh, and I'm not trying to humiliate you. I don't want to humiliate you. Oh! And people, there's stuff probably going on in your life I have nothing, know nothing about. I'm just trying to figure out what's going on. You don't have time to hear all of that. That's stuff. How long have you been in teaching? Um, I've worked with kids my whole life. <laughs> Is this yeah. your first year to actually be a teacher? Call me no, I, I, I taught at Westwood and I taught at Head Start. I'm so sorry. Every, I let everybody down. I'm sorry. <laughs> I hear it all 
time. Some people actually mean it, though. Some people don't. Okay, no more games, right? Yeah. What is in that? Uh, uh, my juice. I'm gonna try again. Okay, to be fair, like, why lie at this point? Like, what's the point? Like, bro, you got caught. Like, you got caught 20 minutes ago. Just let it out, man. Who cares? Who cares about fucking lying anymore? You're just digging your hole deeper. That layer is one. I thought that was from yesterday. Did you drink uh, it up here yesterday? Uh, well, I brought it from home. I was in there to that this morning. Did you get my phone? Yes, <clears throat> in here. I, I'm whatever you want. Well, I mean. Is, is my phone in here? I didn't go through your bag. That's your, you can. your purse. I know, but my thing. Yeah, I know that I know is the department. It's not it's not the person. I'm not I'm not I'm not okay, look, I'm not actually I don't the cop's fine. I'm not, I'm not shit talking the cop at all. I'm shit talking this guy. Like I get his his anger to an extent, but I feel like if he was a little bit less of pointing fingers and you're in the wrong and you're a bad person, she might be a little bit more willing to tell the truth. I don't know. Thing is uh, yeah, I, I, mean, that's all I need. Yeah. Did, did you get my phone? I, you said your phone was in the purse. Well, I thought it was on the desk, but it's okay. Are you going to call someone? Well, I don't. I, I don't. I used to have everybody's numbers, but. You're going to get your phone and call someone? Well, Is I it not in there? I thought it was on the desk. Where's the worst part? Uh, whatever this is, it's I think it's coming. Desk. Something's coming. Being truthful goes a long ways, and you haven't done it yet. See, that's what I don't get. <clears throat> like, I get. Don't get me wrong. I, I could, I could almost understand lying at first. You know, to try. Like, she's probably trying to get away with it, lying. At first. But, bro, you got caught. <laughs> like, get over it. Just tell them. Who cares? I have half mind to arrest you just because you lied to me. Okay, what do I need to do to, to make everything right? I just wanted honesty. That's all I wanted. I, I drank out of that yesterday. I didn't drink out of it today. You, I don't believe you. I, I drank right. out of that coming I don't to believe work that. yesterday. Well, where, where's the cup that you drank out of today? Is it in your classroom too? I don't, I don't think so. Honestly, I... I thought I was doing a good job today. I don't know. I, I don't know. Hey, chat. How about this? Let's stop fighting over if cops are good or bad in chat <clears throat> and just watch the video, right? Because if that starts, it won't end. So I'm going to end it now before it gets out of hand, all right? So let's just stop talking about if cops are good or bad. And let's just watch the video and talk about the video itself. Not, it's not just you, noob. It, 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 there's, I mean, there's people that are going to combat you when you bring it up. It's just like, leave it. You know? I don't care your opinions. I have my opinions. You guys have your opinions. Agree to disagree. You know? Like, who cares? Let's move on. We're watching a video. <clears throat> You're, you're fine, puppy treats. I'm not saying you're bad. I'm not saying anyone's bad. I'm not calling anyone out. I'm just saying let's chill. We're having fun here, okay? Come on, we're having fun. Okay, we're coming up to the most watched part. Go ahead. <clears throat> no audio? Please, 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 please. I'll, I'll, I'll call somebody. I have somebody right here in town that will nope. come get me. Too late. 
Please. What's your date of birth, Kimberly? Please, please, please just let me. Can we? Hey, I'm this? not doing it. I'm not doing it. You had your chance to be honest. Well, and, I, I did. And then you wiped this out. But please let me. Please. Wait, she. What? She. What? She wiped it out. Go ahead. She. What's your date of birth, Kimberly? Please, 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 just let me. Can we? Hey, I'm this? not doing it. I'm not doing it. You had your chance to be honest. Well, and I, I, okay, that's just stupid. You wiped the cup out. How drunk is she? I mean, I know she's really drunk, but like, you wiped the, why? They already smelled it, bro. Like, it's in their head. They know it's there. What is that gonna do? Yeah. And then you wipe this out. But, please, let me, please let me, call. I should charge you with tampering with evidence. Please let me. No, no, it is over. What's the point of continually lying? Now I understand what you, what you mean when it gets worse. I had like I had sympathy for it first, but like, why are you digging the hole? Why are you digging the hole? I don't understand. Like, I get it. You don't want to, like, I don't get it. Okay, actually, I don't get it. You don't want to lose your job. But you don't want to get arrested. But out of the two, I feel like just losing your job is probably better, right? So I would have just sucked it up and got it over with. She's desperate? Yeah, but it's like, there's no getting out of it. Like, she, she's been caught 10 times over. I, dude, I don't know. Like, I still have empathy for her alcoholism and the problems that she has, which I just want to mention, I feel like everyone should have empathy for alcoholism and any addiction problem because I know on the outside in, it looks like, oh, they're just pieces of shit. But no, it uh, they are genuine problems that are extremely destructive and hard to get rid of. Like, I know it sounds uh, uh, black and white, but it's not. Alcoholics are such different people. Yeah, it's it's crazy. And I mean, that's coming from someone who's dealt with plenty of alcoholics in my life, you know? Yeah, I don't have any empathy for the shit that she did here. Like, I have empathy for the problems she has, and uh, hopefully she'll get better. But yeah, that's the shit she did is just dumb. No more. No more. I'm done. Officer, please. No. I, I've never done anything mad I don't, in my whole life. Please. What is your date of birth? Five, seven, it ruins five, families? Seven. Oh, hell yeah, please it does. Please let me call somebody. <clears throat> please, I will, I will call somebody right now. I've got a camera. Huh? I, I, I've got a friend right here in, no. in Perkins. No, please. you're under arrest. Please don't do this. It's too late. No, please, please, Damn. please. I can't do this, please. I don't get it. Yeah, I don't see how the parents demanding this to be public would help anyone. I don't really get why this is public either. Like, wouldn't it be better for the children to not know? I don't know. Like, it's just like embarrassment. Like, it's just, that's all it is. This is just like embarrassment porn. <clears throat> I'm hung up on the idea that she probably drives drunk to and from work. She could have uh, killed kids. I can sympathize, but drunk driving is unforgivable. Innocent people get hurt. Dude, when I was younger, there was things that people did in my small town that was called
booze cruising. I'm sure, I mean, to be fair, a lot of you uh, might have heard of it before, but it was a thing where you take a giant thing of beer or whatever drink you desire and drive around town and get drunk in your car. It was it was genuinely a thing called booze cruising. That's what alcoholics do, man. It's crazy. But yeah, drunk driving is too far. Yeah, I mean, dude, oh. I mean, okay, let, 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 me, let me just say something here. Uh, obviously, I have empathy for people who have alcoholism, but, I, but when it comes to drunk driving, it's a completely different story because that's just like beyond alcoholism. I feel like that that is beyond alcoholism and that's more of a person thing. Uh, drunk driving is, is like, that's, you have to be aware of what you're doing. And drunk driving with like children in your car, for example, which is like something that uh, uh, I've heard of and seen and dealt with is just like, you have, like, that's that's beyond alcoholism. That's a person thing. That That's just stupidity. It doesn't matter if you have, I, I don't have empathy for that bullshit. Two, four, two, eight. No, 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 please. Two, four, two, eight. Please. You're under arrest. They're driving a selfish, yeah. No. No, let me call. You said I could call somebody. I'll, I'll call somebody to come get me. Please. It's too late. There's a trial currently going on in Australia where a woman killed three people with beef wellingtons she poisoned with a death cap mushroom. She got sentenced with five counts of attempted murder and three deaths. Why? What the fuck? Dude, what? Right. Why is it too late? There's a few a bottles in her car. Because you've lied. Done nothing but lie. Jesus. Well, that's because I have a problem, obviously. But please. Two o four two eight. No, officer, please. I, I have a friend that just lives right down the street. She, she poisoned her own me. family. Please. please let me just call her. No. Was it on purpose? You That's said crazy. I can call somebody. Can you guys not hear me? <clears throat> I need someone to come down here and transport for me. You or Dylan. <laughs> It was on accident. She thought there were different mushrooms, allegedly. Well, aren't aren't death cap mushrooms like really close looking to uh, another mushroom that's pretty popular? Did you try killing your husband four times, dude? What the fuck? <laughs> never. Oh, they're very recognizable. Okay, never mind. Okay. Had your chances. You've done nothing but lie, and then you wipe the cup out to try to hide your evidence. Okay, yeah, wiping the cup out was just like, that was the final straw. Let's see what people say. Yeah. I, see, see, I agree. I 1,000% agree. She probably has depression and alcoholism because, I mean, let's be real. When you have alcoholism, it's normally either brought on by depression or it causes depression. But... She don't got the common sense. She don't got the common sense to just own up to her issues, own up to her problems, tell the truth, and not try to destroy evidence like an idiot. Embarrassing and humiliating as this was, this entire episode could save her life. Glad no children were ever harmed. I wish her well on a road to recovery. And embarrassing that millions of people... Had, yeah, that that's what I... It just felt... Yeah, that's what it felt like. <clears throat> a functioning alcoholic for two years of my life. I'm glad I was able to escape those circumstances alive. I hope this woman gets the help she needs. I understand that the school board cannot have people showing up under the influence, especially when she assumes responsibility of protecting children. Yeah. Like, I don't know. <clears throat> I don't really believe in the concept of this could help her. This is the best thing that could have happened to her, like this releasing footage. 
this could go two ways. <clears throat> Number one, she could realize she fucked up and use this as a learning experience. Or number two, she could just see this, see the embarrassment, become extremely depressed, and bad things can happen. <clears throat> um, because I don't really think people understand that quote unquote tough love doesn't always work because tough love can go in a completely opposite direction. You need to be a certain type of person to handle tough love. Uh, and I know uh, uh, like alpha males will call those people weak, but no, it has to do all with brain chemistry and the chemicals in your brain. Some people can handle that stuff, get back up and be stronger, but some people cannot. It's just not in them. It's just something they can't do. And then they take it and make their lives 10,000 times worse, which could happen here. She could take this situation and just go further and further down into the hole and where she could never come out again. And no one understands that. Like, it, it's crazy that people don't get that. It's so stupid. Like the amount of fucking people, oh, you're just weak. You're just weak because you can't, uh, like, like fat shaming, for example. Like, don't get me wrong. I don't think you should praise people who are unhealthy, but like saying, you're fat, you're disgusting. Like you're saying awful shit to people to quote unquote, get them to be better doesn't work for everyone. Yeah, sure, some people it might, on, on some occasions it will, but most of the time it's just gonna make them worse. <clears throat> people don't understand that brains, uh, they're kind of complicated, you know what I mean? Br brains aren't just one dimensional. They don't all work the exact same as everyone else thinks. That's why it pisses me off when uh, people do shit like that. Now it's time to walk away. I hope you enjoyed your stay. Did you laugh or cry or maybe subscribed? I'll thank you either way. You know I will miss you.